Hello everybody on the first lesson. In the upcoming videos we will learn C++ language. I will try to cover all the subjects about the C++ from the beginner to the expert level. After you watch all my videos you should be able to create your own programs. Before we start the adventure with the programming I want to explain what the programming is. Firstly let's focus on the word language. What is language? Well, let's make a comparison. Right now I am talking to you and I am using English language. So, we are using some kind of code to communicate with each other, right? And that thing is called language. Well, we understand each other only because we both know that code. Code in our situation is made of words and each of that words has got some kind of meaning which we all understand. That's why we can communicate with each other. But there is a problem with computers. When we look at our PC, which stands for personal computer, we can say to him something like Hello PC, bring me some beer. Well, if he understood it, probably if our computer had something that could let him move, he would bring it, right? But okay, um, it doesn't understand it. As you can see here, well, I'm not drinking anything now. So we need to talk to him with language that he can understand. So what is that language? Well, that language is programming language. Programming means creating understandable instructions or orders that will be followed by our computers. If that instructions must be understandable, we need to talk in the language that our PC is talking in. The language that our computers know is created of numbers. 0101011101. Well, uh, why are the zero and ones? Mm, that subject is connected with electricity, exactly with pulses. Our computer can read only two pulses, zeros and ones. And every message, every word, every instruction is sent to computer using different sets of zeros and ones. As you might have already noticed, uh, it would be probably hard for us to use that language and for sure it would take lots of time to create anything. Because of that, people created something between computers' language and between ours' language. Well, to be honest, there have been created many languages like that. We'll focus on the C++ language. Now, using the C++ language, we could write, for example, something like get character and at the end add semicolons. Mm. And it would say to the computer something like get character from some kind of output. But as you can see, it's still not the language that our computer uses. So our PC still can't understand it. We need to something that could translate C++ language to that 01111 language. And that thing is called a compiler. The process of translating languages is called compiling. When you compile a program using the compiler, you are doing many other things like checking the syntax of our language, so it's checking if we had made any mistakes, it's linking libraries, it's optimizing programs, and many other things. But I don't want to go into these details right now. Let's rather focus on things that really matters right now. We need a compiler to start our adventure with the programming. We also need an editor that could help us write programs in the C++ language. It would be also nice if that editor had many additional functions that will help us writing programs. And that editor with all that function, the compiler, is called IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. So IDE is some kind of set of programs that will have us writing new programs and after compiling them we can run them on our PCs. So let's download that IDE. It is called in our situation code blocks. It is free one, it's good I think, so we'll be using it. Let's open the website. Let's look for the download label. Let's now uh, use the download the binary release and I'm using Windows 7 so I'm going to use that guy here I'll use that mirror. Let's click on it then now download save the file and now uh, as you can see I have already downloaded it so I can just stop it and let's install that thing here. 
let's open it um, okay here we got the wizard setup let's click next here we should read the license of course <laughs> now I click I, I agree here we can customize it a bit but I'll just click next install and let's wait a second uh, here we are being asked if we want to run code blocks now yes I will click tag it means yes I am using Windows Home Program and unlikely I can't change the Windows language to English so I'm sorry for that but don't worry I will translate everything so now we have just opened that IDE right and it stands for integrated development environment so now we can for example create a file I click file new empty file and here I can write some kind of code uh, I will write right now a very simple program which I will explain later I'll try to write it as fast as possible so you won't lose your precious time see out hello world we welcome our world <laughs> and that's all now I will use the shortcut control plus S which stands for control plus save so I'm saving the file now and we can uh, here type the name of our file for example I will type test CPP uh, CPP stands for uh, C++ <laughs> we are using the C++ language right and uh, here we can choose uh, what type um, we want to save it as I will just use the C slash C++ files now I will use the Zapish button uh, which means save so I am saving uh, I am clicking tag it means yes and uh, here we have uh, sa saved our first program right now we need to compile it uh, we need to build that program build and run option is the thing that we will use now let's run it and as we can see we have got now the console here and we can see our program says hello world we told him to do it but we have here two additional informations and that informations are added by our IDE normally if you are using other IDEs um, you won't see things like that and you have to stop your program manually uh, so if you want to use other IDE remember to add that instruction here system pause it will uh, and uh, it will just pause uh, our program um, and you will be able to see it okay as you can see our IDE is coloring our syntax and it will for sure help us writing programs our IDE has got many other ad additional features but we will just try to uh, discover them in next lesson as I said earlier, um, compiler is behind the build option. So if I make any mistake, for example, I will write something that is not in the C++ language syntax, and that's for sure not in that uh, syntax, it's not in our language, right? Um, and then now I will click the build and run option, as we can see here. I have got uh, a message and it says that there is an error in the line 7 when I click on it uh, that line is highlighted and we can repair that error very fast we can fix it so uh, I am just removing that letters here and now we can again build and run that program uh, successfully okay uh, that's all in that lesson I'm inviting you to watch my other videos and we will explain that code that we have just written here so uh, thank you very much and best regards everyone